Hello, I'm Mark Spiegler, Global Director of Art Basel, and I'm here to tell you about the amazing week that's about to start in Basel. We have fantastic shows at all the institutions, we have really interesting galleries presenting across all of the sectors, and we have a truly interesting project taking place on messe plots from Creative Time in New York. Within the main gallery sector, one of the really interesting dimensions every year is the introduction of new galleries. On the one hand, we have very young galleries like 47 Canal, who shows a broad range of emerging artists. On the other hand, we have galleries like Tokyo Gallery BTAP and Bergamin and Gomide from Sao Paulo, who show really great historical projects. Among curators and critics, the feature section has always been a favorite. The feature sector is filled with interesting projects. For example, Niels Yalter's piece at Gallerist, which addresses transgender issues. Holly Bush Garden is bringing Lubana Himid's paintings. She just won the Turner Prize. And then we have Max Meyer, who will bring in Jeff Gase, the conceptual artist who just passed away. The statement sector is where you will find the youngest galleries showing the youngest artists. JTT, the New York Gallery, showing Doreen Garner's piece, which is about the investigation of medical experimentation on black women's bodies. It's a highly political, very tough piece. Interesting in a completely different way is the work that Sandy Brown is bringing by Aude Pariset, an installation that deploys an army of styrofoam-eating worms to create sculptures live before your eyes. For many regular visitors, the unlimited sector is the highlight that they look forward to all year. And once again, this will be an amazing addition. We have legendary artists like James Terrell, Li Yu Fan, and Ligia Pape, who are known for the way in which they dominate and transform space. On the other end, we have the younger artists, people like Martine Sims, John Raffman, and Camino Ho, all of whom work with digital media and yet also physical media that combines into an artwork which reflects the way that we all live now, which is to say to some extent physically and to some extent digitally simultaneously. This year on Messe Plots, we're working with the New York-based agency Creative Time, which has done for many decades some of the most interesting projects around art and social activism. And as we speak, I can see the first project being built up. It will involve Laura Marsigui, Isabel Lewis, and the architecture studio Resetas Urbanas. The installation will change every day, and it will activate messe plots with people from all over the city of Basel. One of the things that makes the Basel show so special is that we are surrounded by amazing museums and art institutions. And this year is an especially great year. At the Beiler Foundation, we have the Bacon Giacometti Show. At the Schaulager, we have the Bruce Nauman Retrospective. At the Kunstmuseum Basel, we have solo shows by Theaster Gates and Sam Gilliam, and a show that combines the work of Hito Stirl and Martha Rosler. This will be the 2018 edition of Art Basel in Basel, and we're looking forward to an amazing week for people who love art coming in from all over the world.